Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Indie Mist. Today's video is not focused too much on indie products, although I am going to be using all indie products on my face. I don't know that I'm gonna go that much in detail on them, but I will have everything listed down below. But I just wanted to go ahead and do a chatty get ready with me, kind of talk about what's been going on in my life, how I've been feeling, and just, I don't know, maybe have like a little vulnerable moment. I don't love doing videos about myself that often just because because I feel like it opens me up to like more opinions, more criticism that I don't really want. It kind of stinks because I know that when I do open up and like talk about my life and whatnot, I feel more connected with y'all and I feel like we have really great conversations, but there's definitely pros and cons. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that my title's not clickbait. I wanted to put it that way as a warning that that's a discussion that we're gonna be having during this video. Someone did try to break into my home and it's made me have a lot of extra anxiety and I just thought I would talk about it um, and maybe like, you know, like a little makeup therapy session. But um, I know that that might not be a comfortable topic for some people, so that's why I put it in the title. I'm gonna start off with the Juvia's Place Eye Primer. I'm pulling out my Club Nebula palette and I just thought we would do a look with that today. One of my favorite looks to do with the palette, honestly, and I'm sure I've done it on my channel before at some point, but doesn't matter. I guess I'll just start off by talking about what happened, which it's honestly kind of a little bit anticlimactic, but um, it's um, sticking with me. It's sticking with me for sure. I, I make jokes, that's how I cope, but the other night I was um, sleeping and, you know, I... I say that I live alone, but I mean I live alone in the way that I'm I'm the only adult. My son was here, but he was in his room, and um, it was about 3 in the morning, and I woke up to the sound of someone trying to get into my house. Um, I feel like it was just clear as day immediately I heard the sound. I knew what it was. They were trying so hard to get into my door. I heard the doorknob like jiggling just so rough i don't know i can't stop thinking about it because it's just it's so f freaky to think about the idea of like someone just trying so hard to get into my house and like my safe space and it's just kind of a mind blank <laughs> you know what i mean but um so anyways i heard the sound and like I woke straight up. It was just kind of terrifying to me. I didn't like really know what to do. It took me a second to even get out of bed just because like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it was like some type of like adrenaline or something, but like I got like this like rush of like paralyzing fear um, that made me feel kind of dizzy for like, I don't know, it felt like a minute but it probably was less what kind of knocked me out of that like paralyzing fear like moment of like i can't even move is just like remembering you know my son's here and it's my job to protect him so by the time i got to the door whoever it was had run away um and like i didn't have any description anything at all other than just knowing that someone was trying to do that so i kind of had like a moment where i was like do i even like call 911 like I feel like it's 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 not even in like an emergency Because they're gone like there's nothing I can provide like there's nothing that they can probably do But I was really scared so I called anyways and just like explained what happened I was like, I'm so sorry like I don't know if this this is probably not an emergency, but someone tried to break into my house I'm just so grateful that my locks were sturdy enough that they weren't able to because sorry I'm, I know I'm like sidetracking but my door now like on the outside you can see where like something was scraped like where the deadbolt is and where the regular lock is like they were trying to like probably put something inside and like jiggle the door at the same time to get in but I'm just, I'm just so grateful they didn't but anyways I was talking to the 911 operator and um I feel like to me, like, I imagine an operator, like, being, like, more nice. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's, like, 3 in the morning, but, like, there was, like, no, like, words of, like, it's okay, like, you're fine, like, anything. Like, they asked the details, which I understand, but then it was just, like, so 
cold. I was thinking I need some reassurance right now because I feel terrible, but the person was like, we're gonna send out an officer to speak to you. And I was like, great. Like I, I didn't think that even made sense because I just asked if they could send someone to patrol the area and like to look around because I was like, what if they're like going to someone else's house and like, and you never know. Like I just thought that was something that could be done. Um, so she said the officer was gonna come to speak to me. So like I, you know, did what I had to do. I put some pants on. I was like nervously cleaning my house for like an hour in the middle of the night, which helped me, I guess, a little bit because it was better than just like sitting and doing nothing. About 30 minutes later, I did see a police car like go up and down the road, but they never came and spoke to me. And I stayed up to like a little bit past four, like 4.30 like waiting and waiting because I thought like I don't want to go to sleep like if I'm gonna wake up to like someone knocking on my door whatever but then I just realized at some point I was like they're not coming <laughs> like let me just go back to sleep because the day after was literally the longest day like I had so much going on between work I had to bring my son to school he had speech therapy he had a recital um gosh what else there was just so much going on that day and I was just anxious the whole day. I didn't sleep well at all, obviously. I didn't sleep well the night after either. It's just kind of like the struggle because even though like nobody got in, even though I didn't see the person, like I just knowing like someone was trying to get into my house, I feel like it just makes you feel violated honestly like because your home is like your home like it's supposed to be a spot where you always feel safe and I don't know I'm really glad that I have anxiety in the way that I check my door multiple times every night before I go to bed and I remember that night checking like two or three times just making sure that it was locked and you know I don't think I'm ever gonna go to sleep again without just double checking right before I lay down because it's just freaky. My whole family is like, you need to get like a door, like the ring doorbell or whatever. And like, I need to keep my porch lights on all the time and whatnot. So I'm gonna do some other things. Maybe get like one of those like stickers that says like protector dog or something. Stickers that stare people, scare people away even if they're not true. Do not have a guard dog. <laughs> I wish. I thought it was kind of ironic too because the night, like that night that I was falling asleep beforehand, like I remember just like a lot of times like in bed, like I kind of like lay there and like overthink everything and like what I could have done better, what I need to do tomorrow, and what I've, like, I don't know. I've just been really overwhelmed by a lot of things lately, but I remember like laying in bed and just thinking like how like content I was with life, like, even though I'm overwhelmed, even though I'm busy, like, like I just feel like I'm kind of like in a good place. Like just in general with everything going on, like not doing perfect, but I'm just, I've been content. I've been happy. Um, and then that happens. Like, I just feel like I, my anxiety is at the worst it's been in years. Like I feel like a little bit like jumpy and I don't know, I guess it's normal, but it just, sucks actually cannot wait to not be sleeping alone um so that i can actually get some like deep good sleep because i don't know i just just not sleeping well so yeah that happened um and i feel like it's kind of just brought the like overwhelming feeling even more because like there's things i need to do and like i ended up kind of like taking like a few like mental health days, like taking it really slow when I wanted to not. Like these last few days I was planning to like go absolute ham and like pr finish like pre-filming for the next like 10 days until Christmas so that I could take some time off and not be like worrying about uploading every single day. Um, and like just enjoy my time with my family and my loved ones and everything. And that did not happen just because I was not, you know, in the right state of mind to do all that which sucks now because I feel behind and I feel like overwhelmed by that and I feel overwhelmed by just, it's okay, this is gonna be weird to explain because I don't want it to sound superficial because it's not. In fact, I feel like I figured out what it is exactly that bothers me so much. 
So like, I feel like my videos recently just have not been doing that well. Like just looking at the views, like they're just very low. And I don't know, it could be a combination of it just being holiday times. Everybody's posting like videos every single day. So there's just like a lot of content to watch and my content just isn't making it on the top of what people want to watch, which is fine. It's fine. It's just like feel that it's not about the numbers, but it is about this feeling like like I've been focusing on it so much because it makes me feel kind of like disconnected from my audience and like not like I just feel like I'm like, do I even know what you guys want to watch? Like, am I making content that's not valuable, content that isn't entertaining? It's like, I know I have complete control over my content and what I make and like I can do what I want, but I feel like I have a job to do. Like, I want to make content that is helpful for people, that people want to watch, that's just entertaining, um, that has information that they need and that maybe makes people feel better when they're not having the greatest time or you know all the things that videos can do whether like I said it's because you're just trying to decide on what to buy or not to buy or because you just like makeup content whatever so seeing the numbers like the lowest they've been in a really long time just makes me feel like I'm not being successful at my goal it's not about numbers it's not about growing anything like that it's just I feel like I'm just not making good content that's what it i mean that's kind of just how i feel i do kind of feel like i'm being hard on myself and that i kind of have this like goal to just make it through this month and like i know not everyone gets like this but january i always feel inspired i always feel inspired by a new year and like the opportunity to kind of start over so i feel like i'm gonna like maybe set out some rules for myself and just you know, like do some like really intense thinking on what I can do just to get back on track to where I want to be like starting in January. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue posting a video for the rest of any miss every single day. I just, like I said, I feel kind of not in the best headspace and like, I don't know, it, it feels kind of silly to stress myself out over content when it like comes down to like maybe people don't even want to watch it you know what I mean I don't want anyone to feel bad either like if you're clicking on this video and you haven't watched any of my other ones like that's completely fine like I'm not putting it on anyone I'm not putting it on the algorithm I'm not putting it on my subscribers like I'm literally just putting it on myself like I need to do a better job I also this is a side note, but it made me happy, so I guess I'll just talk to you guys about it. Um, I felt all the Christmas spirit yesterday, and I'm actually really glad that I decided to do this because I was kind of back and forth about it, but my boyfriend, um, I knew he was going to be like away from his apartment for a few days because he had some work things going on. So I decided to surprise him with a Christmas tree because he loves Christmas, but he's been so busy with work that he like hasn't been able to get one. So I thought I would go ahead and just, you know, go to Walmart, pick out a tree, like nothing too expensive or whatever, but just, you know, a tree and get some decorations. And Roman and I, my son and I, we ended up putting it together and it actually turned out so cute. So yesterday I went and set everything up and I think it looks adorable. I think he's gonna be so excited when he walks like in his door and like sees a tree. It ended up being really colorful. My son chose a star for the top that I thought was like so ugly, but <laughs> he was set on it and I was like, you know what, whatever. Like if that's the one that you really like, like that's what we'll get. And we kind of did the theme based on that. <laughs> Um, but I think it ended up being cute. So that's definitely one thing that kind of lifted my spirits this week that I'm like looking forward to the reveal of the surprise and everything. But I felt like what's more like Christmas spirit than like surprising someone with a tree? Like that feels very Hallmark. <laughs> so that's one thing that made me happy. I don't know. I just thought I'd throw something positive in because this has been a pretty... Um, sad get ready with me I feel 
but I mean I guess it's just life like I was thinking about how overwhelmed I've overwhelmed <laughs> overwhelmed I've been with everything and I think part of it's just in my head because it's really easy to get caught up in like wanting to be the best at everything that you're doing wanting to, wanting to be the best mom possible and the best girlfriend and the best daughter and the best sister and the best at my job and I started a second job um it's been a few weeks now at this point and I love it but also like I do want to excel at it and be successful um so it's just another thing like you know on my plate and I feel like I heard this quote once before that like you can have everything you want in life but you can't have it all at the same time that's what I've been telling myself to feel better actually because yeah I'm not doing the most amazing at every aspect but when it comes to like my family and like just being content in my life I feel the best I've ever been oh you guys want to hear something else I've been wanting to get a pet I just felt like it was time, like I've been in my um, own place for a year, my son like has been talking about wanting a dog or a cat, I've just been thinking about it, so I feel like I told you guys that I had puppy fever, but then like I realized that my lease says I can't have any dogs that are over 25 pounds, and I'm just really not a small dog kind of person, I love big dogs. Like my most favorite thing in the entire world is a big dog that thinks that thinks it's a lap dog. Like that just makes my heart happy in a way I can't even describe. And like I kept looking at all these breeds that I love and I was looking at different shelters and everything and I was like, oh, like that dog doesn't look that big. And then I click it and it'd be like 50 pounds. I'm like, okay, so a dog's just not happening. And realistically, a dog isn't the easiest thing for me. Like I feel like it's just adding more to my plate. Um, just because, you know, dogs you have to take out constantly and like, um, I mean, I did like the idea of like having a dog to go running with and whatnot and it would maybe get me out of the house more, but that's just not the route that I'm going because of the rules. Maybe one day. I don't have any plans to live here forever, so, um, we'll see, but basically, um, I was kind of upset about that at first, but then I was like, you know what, like a cat, I love cats, like... I'll look at cats and I was looking at cats and then I looked at my lease again and I saw that it said that all cats must be declawed and I was absolutely appalled how can you have that on your pet addendum I didn't read it honestly when I signed it because I didn't have a pet at the time so it wasn't something that I was concerned about but when I read that I was just like ah, like that is terrible um, you know it's illegal in so many countries it's illegal in certain cities in the US and it's just like a very inhumane procedure so I was really upset again I was like are you kidding me like I cannot get a cat like I'm not getting a cat and doing that like that's not okay I don't think you could even find somebody like a vet who would do it but I wouldn't do it anyways because I just think that's not right so I ended up <laughs> emailing my leasing office and I felt so sick to my stomach because I'm the least confrontational person ever but I was like I saw this I was really shocked I'm like this is not a humane procedure, da, 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 da. Like, I didn't go too in-depth, but I was kind of like, is this still accurate information? Because, you know, um, and they ended up emailing me back and saying that it was outdated, that they don't go by that, that they've never enforced it. Normally they black it out and they forgot to on my paperwork. Um, so then I was like, well, thank God, thank God that they don't enforce that and that they haven't, but, um, now I could get a kitty. <laughs> oh, I have been looking and I'm really excited about it because I want to surprise my son. I also feel like having a cat, especially if you have an affectionate cat, it can be really good for anxiety, especially because cats like in general, like they're really good at mood changes and like telling when something is wrong. Oh, I feel like that's just, you know, always a nice addition to the family and cats can just be so special so that is something else i've been looking forward to and another thing that's kind of been keeping my spirits up through the highs and lows of this last month or so but that is the finished look i mean i love how it turned out like i said it's one of my favorite looks from the club nebula palette i feel like it just blended so beautifully and just so soft and it's like the perfect soft purple look so i hope you enjoyed it um, I would love to know if you, there's any content that you've wanted to see from me or content that I've been posting that you don't like watching, you know, 
honestly, you can be blunt with me. Like, that's fine. I just really want your feedback so that I can do better. I came up with a series idea that I'm hoping you guys will like, and I might try and film it later today and get that live, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.